There's a lot of bait down there. We need some bait to go catch some fish. Right, buddy? That's right. Caught some bait, time to go fishing. Right, buddy? Right. I'm trying to turn that cigar menu into a tuna. This morning, guys. Good. How far in is that fish? <laughs> somewhat far, somewhat close. Nice, right? We're clear. We survived. Right. Tangling off. Made it, huh? But it ain't yours. I'm sorry. It's his. More tuna. Good job, buddy. Two big tuna coming up, guys. Keep coming. You almost got it. There you go. Oh, wow. Look at that tuna there, guys. All right. Beautiful black fin right there. Hey, there you go. We got another one coming up too, the same size. All right. This tuna circle guy. Keep him open. See, keep dropping his head. Keep your tip up. Like when you get him coming, just keep his tip up. You don't get him. We got him, guys. All right. There we go. Oh, wow. Big tuna good. right there, you guys. He might nice, be 25. Nice. Good job, buddy. Yeah. So we're on the hump here. We're the first boat here. We got on a tuna bite early. A couple of nice ones, some mediums, some smalls. There's four or five on our boats here now. More common. Catch a few more tunas before we go offshore for like a hobby. I thought I got Swordfish. You ready to catch one? Yes, sir. How big is he going to be? We'll know when she comes. <laughs> <laughs> so it appears like we have a swordfish on. Keeping our fingers crossed. I think it's a small one. But hopefully he's on there. Doesn't make me look bad. Otherwise, I look pretty foolish. <laughs> ready? Yes, sir. Alrighty. The pressure's on. The bean might watch this video, so maybe you can show him how it's done. Easily. It's slack. If he comes at you, then you go faster, okay? Can you imagine? He might be a small keeper in some of these Oh, now he wants dolphin there. We got him tuning and sorbish next to the dolphin. I, 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 don't care about I heard about this Dr. T guy. We can always catch now. Oh, Come there on. There you go. Beautiful Let's fish. Get another one. Is that the first sorbish you've seen? Um, caught? Yeah, caught, yeah. Nice, good knuckles, there you go. First one I've, I've we have a swordfish. We're on the board. Yeah. All right. All right, so we got a swordfish there, you guys. 54 inch, not a monster, but first one half these guys have seen. And we're gonna mix it with those tunas for dinner. We got tuna and swordfish, and the day's still young. It's only 10.54, so we still got time. So we'll get some pictures and go from there. You want queen snappers or snowy grouper? Snowy grouper is closed. We got big shoes to fill. So we're going down the deep drop rods. We got that sword early. Nothing for a couple hours. We had one little cheap bite. A little bit ago, we didn't get him. Just bent over for a second, didn't come back. So we catch some bottom fish, maybe a barrel fish or rosy. Something like that. Nick, if that's not a barrel fish, you're gonna look bad. What's that now? I said you're gonna look bad <laughs> if it's not a barrel fish. Oh, it's a barrel fish, fish I promise you. <laughs> Whether or not he stays on is a different story. We're trying to get Bobby's barrel fish for dinner tonight. Stalling out the reel. We got a double header on now. One in the back, one in the front. 
All right, so it's brother versus brother. Who's got a bigger one on, you or him? Uh, I don't know. He keeps stalling me out. You want to gaff him? Sure. He wants to gaff his own fish. We're going to let that happen. He's probably better than a bean. Oh, we got one coming up back here too now. Okay, so maybe you can grab that there, that lead. Yep, try to keep him on a gap so he can slime everywhere though. It's okay. All right, so a big rosy came off. Yeah. We got this one coming up now though. Yeah. Wrong way. Two rosies and a barrel. There you go. That's a big That's rosy a big too. Rosy there you guys. We got three rosies and two barrels in the boat. One big rosy swam down. They will swim down unlike a lot of other bottom fish. A couple of rosies be good, yeah, if you want it too. Oh, we got them in the lip that time. These are full grown rosies, Dr. T. Full grown. Beautiful fish right there. Barrel fish and rosy. Look at these suckers. These are deep water delights right there. That barrel is probably 22, 23 pounds. There you go. Oh, we got color over here. Barrel and a rosy. Get them, buddy. Drill them. Stick with them. Yeah. Oh, boom. Got them. Right. Good job. All righty, four barrels, some rosies, a swordfish, and some tunas. We're in good shape. We're running home and we just found a school of Mai Mai. That's a big pile of fish, you guys. We've got a lot of cleaning to do. They said they're gonna help clean the fish and clean the boats. So we'll be in good shape though. What is it? Mid-September in Amarada? Mid-September in Amarada here at Biden Mary's so coming down to see us. Lots of boats here fishing. A little mixed bag out there today. I know what you're doing, Billy. I'm gonna show you cleaning a barrel fish real quick. Everybody's helping out over there. They're cleaning mahi, black belly rose fish, black tuna. I wound up cleaning that swordfish. We kept him, he was 54 inches, so seven inches over keeper. Um, the thing about letting him go, but they said, you know what, catching one as a keeper, you may not catch another one, we didn't get another one, so it's a good thing we kept him. So we're gonna cut one of these up, they're cleaning the boat, we'll show you that, and then we'll be done for the day. So check this on out. That's 
pasta filet barrel fish. We're gonna skim that. They got big giant rib bones, so we went right around the rib bones, but beautiful meat. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll take a little piece of home and cook it up actually, I'm thinking about. We've had a great day out here. Caught a swordfish, some black fins, barrel fish, dolphin, rosies. Now we're cleaning it up over here. Hi, I'm Grady and I'm cleaning a mahi. Today on the board, Mayo, we had a lot of fun, <laughs> as you can see. There we go, barrel fish, check it on out. White, flaky, and Adam's here. We're cooking. How are we gonna cook this fish, Adam? We are gonna pan sear it. We got a little bit of olive oil, we got some butter. I've been working out in the yard, but we're gonna try and be a chef for a couple minutes. All right, so here we go. And you know, I've had it a couple times. It turned out okay, I think I overcooked it though. Get this going nice and good. So you can add butter and olive oil, so you're gonna increase the flash point of butter, I think. If you add oil to it while still getting the flavor of butter, so you get the best of both worlds. And that is Adam from Alamrata Fish Freight. You can see his shirt right here. If you come down to the Keys, you know, you're fish at Bud and Mary's or anywhere here near Alamrata and you want to ship fish or package it and freeze it, that's the guy that does it right there. So they'll come and pick it up. We're seasoning it with this new big game rub from Traeger we just got. Get a nice coating on it. Might be yeah. too much, but <laughs> we're gonna find out. If you're gonna do anything right, do a lot of it. Wash my hands. Cross contamination is a thing, people. A big thing with pan frying meats too is getting all the excess water off it. So before we started, Nick patted this off. Very important. You know, we got two big pieces. Let's just do one at a time. Our taste testers here too. Sadie, say hi. Is that your? Sadie's practicing because she's going to be a big sister here in a few months, two and a half months. You want to try some fish, Sadie? Yeah. You do? You want lunch? It's looking good. I'm just trying to get the edges a little bit. Dean don't know nothing about this place right here. Yeah, Dean ain't know nothing about that. I'm going to flip it. Look at that. Oh, mac and cheese rolls home. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Oh. Just got new tongs. Metal tongs. Perfect. Yeah. Practicing for the baby, Sadie? You're going to be a big sister in a couple months. Looking tasty. Voila. How's it smell? Can you smell what Adam is cooking? There it is. Fresh barrel fish. I haven't had barrel fish in a long time, but uh, we caught some good ones on this trip. So, here we go. So that there, that was the thick piece of that barrel fish. A little trickier to cook. But um, we're gonna find out. Sadie, the baby did? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Sadie, do you wanna try fish? Do you wanna try barrel fish for lunch? There you go. So Adam's butterflying this fillet, you guys, to make it a little bit thinner. We're gonna try cooking this one a little thinner, see if uh, a little bit easier. Maybe it went purple all the way to beach. It did. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so these pieces here are a lot thinner. Adam butterflied it and uh, it's gonna make it a little bit easier to cook, and we're gonna see which one turns out better. You got that, the really thick piece, and the medium piece over there. Sadie, the cleaning lady. Sure. Yeah. Oh! Oh, look how good that looks there. Holy that moly. one's definitely cooked. Alrighty, so the fish is on top of a little salad we got there, and here we go, you guys. Chef Adam, we're gonna see how this turned out. Good job, Adam. We did it, baby. We'll see. And that's, you know, I overcooked it before when I've had it, and it was definitely chewy. So, we wanna see if this turned out a little bit better. Moment of truth. Moment of truth, we got the thick slice over here. All right, so that's the thick piece that we didn't butterfly first. It was a little more challenging to cook. That looks good. Look at that flake on part though. It's still moist in there. Can't really cut it. <laughs> Alright, tell us what you think. We're gonna come down to and it's decent. How's the seasoning taste and how chewy is it? This is barrel fish. Yeah. Still chewing, so it's got some chewiness to it. Quite a big bite. It's uh it's a little moist, it's definitely a little tougher on top because we use too high heat, being a thicker cut. Um, but it's not that chewy in the middle, you know? No. Not not as chewy as I thought it would have been. Good. Sarah, what do you think? I think it's great. Adam for a head chef. 
<laughs> Mine's not chewy. What's wrong with you? Sadie, you want a bite? Come get a bite, Sadie. Sadie's hangry, we didn't give her any. I gotta try this now. I like that so that was the thicker piece. These are the thinner pieces of butterfly and these look a lot better. Here. And this one broke apart even right there. Why are you crying? Oh, Sadie, it's okay. You wanna try some fish? I said, you gotta tell us what you think, okay? You gonna eat and run? Do you like it? Yeah. You do. Do you want more? Yeah. Come get some more. Here we go, barrel fish going down. Super white meat, flaky, kind of like grouper. Here we go. Mine's not chewy at all. 100%, if you get barrel fish, yeah. thin it out when you cook it. This is delicious right here. The seasoning was really good. It was, you know, that, that big game bro is sea salt paprika, really good there. Adam just got the thicker piece. Adam made the thick piece, which is hard. The thin here. pieces are way more tender. I definitely blasted the thick piece way too, way too much. Here, you want more? Still not that bad, though. Still decent. So if you get, I mean, look at this. This is white and delicious. I was hesitant, and that, every time I cooked it before, I cooked it really thick, which I haven't cooked it probably in a year, maybe more. There we go. This is fresh barrel fish caught in over a thousand feet of water the other day. Sarah's eating it. The baby inside there is eating it. Getting some barrel fish nutrition. Going back for more. Adam's still eating the thick piece, so it wasn't that bad. It was just a little chewier. Did you? Did the thin piece taste different or just? It was just uh, more tender and moist. There you go. I mean, they both taste the same. Perfect. All right, we got more barrel fish going down here in Amarada. Hope you all enjoyed that video. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe, and uh, we'll see y'all next time. So, here we go. And remember, 150,000 subscribers. We're gonna do a big giveaway at Bud and Mary's. It's gonna include fishing, lodging. Someone's gonna win it and come on down here. So I know it's probably a few months away, but we'll see. We'll keep moving up on the channel. Just wanna thank all you guys again. Here we go.